Hello and welcome to another Branco video tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to add a custom domain to your Playster website. Starting off in Playster, you'll want to select the website that you're wanting to add your custom domain to. Scroll down once you've accessed that area and click on custom domain. Inside here, we're going to be adding in the personal domain that you've purchased from your other registrar. Be sure that you add in www in front of it and make sure that you've spelt it correctly. Once you're sure that this is the correct domain, go ahead and click add domain. All right, now we'll need to go into our GoDaddy account. Inside of here, if you click on domains, it will expand and show you everything that's inside of the account. Now, if you're looking for the domain that you're going to be setting up and you find it, go ahead and click Manage DNS, taking us to the domains settings area. I know that inside this area, it can be tempting to create a forward to your Playster website. However, just so you know, that's not how you earn search engine optimization, but the rest of the setup will. So let's go into the DNS zone file. And we're going to be updating an A record and a C name. In order to get all the information that we'll need, we'll have to go back to Placer and click on step-by-step -step help articles. Then click on pointing your custom domain to your Placer site. Once you're inside here, you'll find the records that we're going to end up putting into place on GoDaddy. So let's start with the first one. Go ahead and highlight the IP address and then copy it. We're going to go back over to GoDaddy and we're going to update the app record and click edit record, highlight what's in there and then paste on top of it our new IP address and then click finish. All right, now we're ready to do the C name. So we go back over to Playster, grab our domains.myrealestateplatform.com, copy, back to GoDaddy, where it says www, we're going to update that C name by clicking edit record, doing the same highlight and then pasting in that address too. Then click finish. Now normally we would just click save changes, but we want to make sure that we have a, a backup of what was in there before we make any changes. So go to dnsstuff.com, type in your domain name without www, and then click the arrow. This will give you a record of all the information that's contained inside your domain before you make any changes to it. This is an excellent backup just in case anything happens. So once you have this, go ahead and export it, and then we're ready to click save inside of GoDaddy. And that's how you set up your domain.